Hello. I pray that you're well today. I pray that you know exactly what God thinks about your life. The scripture uses in Psalm 139, it says, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. The truth is, you are one of a kind. There's nobody else like you. No one else can fulfill what you need to fulfill in your life because you are God's special design. God is a designer. You are the one who's designed by him. I want to read to you from Ephesians chapter 2. You know the scripture. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10. First 8 and 9. For it's by grace you've been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. You are God's handiwork. You are God's creation. You are God's design. There is nobody else like you on this planet, nor will there ever be. You're created in Christ Jesus to do good works. You're created to do the things that you are asked to do. I am created to do the things that I am asked to do, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Sometimes we wonder, are we really important at all? Is our life really important? What are we here for? What's our meaning? What's our purpose? What's our value? We become overwhelmed with insecurities about the nature of who we are and what we do. But God says, you are God's handiwork. God made you. You are special and unique and blessed by God, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. You are intricate. You are one of a kind. I don't know if you can see, but if you look at my thumb right there, there's no other thumb like it. In other words, these fingerprints are unique to me. They are intricate. The dexterity of my fingers, the intricacy of my eye, the complexity of all that God has made, intricacy, uniqueness, fearfully and wonderfully made, and in truth, one of a kind. I pray. I pray that you know how valuable you are to God, and he proved it. You were bought with a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, it uses this language. It says the statement specifically. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Christ himself? Where he goes on to say, Do you not know that your bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you've received from God? You are not your own. God made you. You have been received by God. You are not your own. You were bought at a price Therefore, honor God with your body. Honor God with your body. Honor God with your life. Honor God with your mind, with your hope, your strength, your heart, your mind. You honor God with what you have. All of us are unique. We have unique challenges, unique situations, especially if I might be so bold, please uh, pray with me for those parts of the country that are experiencing extreme cold. Part of my family lives in Texas and they've been without power for 36 hours and temperature got down in their home to 40 degrees. That's pretty low. And so the reality is that people are experiencing odd things on top of odd things on top of odd things. We are living as one of a kind people in a one of a kind time frame to do a one-of-a-kind job that God has asked, that he has prepared for us to do. You are one of a kind. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You, by the grace of God, are the one whom God has made. Please pray with me. Lord God, we pray that you would give us strength in challenging times. We pray that you would give us precisely what we need we pray for your overwhelming sense of power and your overwhelming sense of goodness in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you today. God's grace to be with you. You 
are one of a kind.